Hi, I'm Chris from DinoJet. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install this Power Commander 5 onto this 2014 KTM Super Duke 1290. We're going to go ahead and get started by removing the seats. There's a key latch on the left hand side that pops the rear seat off. And once that's removed, we can pull off the rider seat. Next, we're going to remove the bodywork on both sides at the front of the fuel tank. Next, we're going to need to remove the fuel tank. We'll get started by pulling the two bolts from the rear. I'm going to remove this bezel from the top of the fuel tank. Once the fuel tank is loosened, we can disconnect this vent line here. We can disconnect the high pressure fuel line here. We have the electrical connector for the fuel pump and an electrical connector for the sending unit. We can loosen this vent here. Now we should be able to pull the tank rearward and off. Next we're going to remove the air box starting with the lid. We have two air scoops at the front of the air box that we'll need to pop out, just loosen them. Once the air box is loose, you can remove the pair valve from the bottom of it and also disconnect the hose at the bottom of the air box for the pair valve. Now that the air box is removed, we're ready to start routing the Power Commander harness. We're going to need to store the Power Commander module right here in the tail section. To route the harness, we want to pass the harness through this small space in the tail right here, one connection at a time, until you've passed the whole harness through this small space. Once you route the harness through the frame, continue routing it along the left hand side of the frame until you come here to the ECU. At the ECU, we're going to attach our Power Commander's single unterminated gray wire to the stock throttle position signal wire on the ECU connector. This is a orange wire with a yellow tracer on the larger ECU connector. I'm going to take my supplied posi tap. I'm going to remove the gray nut from the posi tap and slide the stock wire through the slot on that gray nut. Then I'm going to thread the pointed end of the posi tap onto the gray nut. Next I'll remove the red nut from the posi tap. I'll slide that over the Power Commander's gray wire. I'll insert the Power Commander's gray wire into the body of the posi tap. and I'll thread the red nut down on top of it. Also just in front of the ECU I can find a common ground where I'll attach the ground wire with the small ring lug from the Power Commander harness. Right between the throttle bodies I can find the two stock connectors for the fuel injectors. I'll start with the rear fuel injector for the rear cylinder. I'm going to unplug the stock connector from the rear fuel injector I'm going to plug the pair of Power Commander leads with yellow colored wires in line of the rear fuel injector. Next I'll unplug the front fuel injector and I'm going to plug the pair of leads on the Power Commander wiring harness with the orange colored wires in line of the front cylinder fuel injector. After plugging the fuel injector connections in, make sure that your throttle movement isn't going to get interfered with. Store the connectors below the high pressure fuel line. Forward of the two throttle bodies, I'll find a pair of blue two pin connectors and I'll unplug those. These are to my vehicle's crank position sensor. I'm going to plug the pair of white two pin connectors on the Power Commander harness in line with the stock blue connectors. And that's all of the connections. We can now reinstall the air box, the fuel tank, the bodywork, and the seats.